By being seen in the media, it's had a huge positive impact on our business. The credibility is enormous. When, when you see your name or when clients see your name and you on television, for example, they just think, wow, we're dealing with the right people here. They're not going to use him if he didn't know his stuff. It has driven clients to us through the radio, for example. We get people that find us saying, I've heard David on the radio. I'd like to talk to you about X, Y, Z. It really isn't that difficult. But in terms of measurables for the business, it's been absolutely immense. So people are always going to probably Google you before they ring you, and that can be your shop window. So people put our name, a business name or my name into Google, and they're thinking, well, what's this person like? What's this firm like for financial advice? Can I trust them? Up comes pages of radio and television. It's worth its weight in gold. There was somebody that used to do a regular phone-in on our local radio programme and he could no longer do it. Unfortunately, he passed away. So I rang the local radio station up and said, I can do that. And that's where it all started. It was having a leap of faith. And it doesn't matter whether it's TV, it's radio, it's conference speaking. Sometimes you've got to do things that maybe you don't initially feel comfortable about, but you just know you probably could. But when you feel slightly nervous, but also excited, that's the perfect combination. That is where all the good stuff happens. You need to be a little bit on, on your guard. You need to be a little bit uncomfortable to perform at your best. It's like rocket fuel. It will take you to places that you can never believe that you can get to. If you're someone looking to get into the media, be it TV, radio, or doing conference speaking, the first thing is to actually be hungry enough to want to do it. And listen to your local radio. See who's on there. See what sort of stories they cover, which presenter and which show might be suitable for you to be in. And simply pick up the phone and ring them or email them. You'd be surprised how many times radio stations in particular are looking for so-called experts or people that would just give a guest comment on a story. It adds colour to their radio station. Different voices and having that expertise in there is vital to them. So by putting yourself out there and actually asking, that's the first step. You'd be surprised where it can take you and you'd be surprised how many times they'll say, yes, we'd like you to help out with that story. And the more you do, the more you get known, and then it starts snowballing from there. And then once you've done one, you'll get to do others, and you can ring other places up as well. But even just commenting in the local newspaper on something, write an article, write a column in the local paper, anything that you can do that positively puts yourself out there, because media outlets are looking for content all the time. If you can provide that content, they'll bite your arm off. The most important tip is be on time. If you're doing an interview for media, if it's radio or television, everything runs literally to seconds and minutes. They need to know where you are so that they're not panicking, but also you're not panicking either. You don't turn up literally gasping for air because you just run into the studio. So it's really important to make sure you're on time so that they can do the program that they want to do and they know that you're reliable. The more reliable that you are and the more you turn up on time, the more they're gonna want to invite you back. People want reliable people. You need to come across as confident, an expert in your field, and also have credibility. If you haven't done your research, you're not going to come across like that. So an example would be if I was doing a radio interview about house prices, for example, I will look up what the average house price is in the area that I'm doing the interview, so you can make it really relevant. The producers and the presenters also love the fact that you've done that because the audience then engage with you better. But you need to know your stuff. If you don't, it will tell. And there's nothing worse when you're doing a radio or a television interview, seeing or hearing people going, um, uh, and they're looking off to, for inspiration somewhere because they don't know the topic enough. Know your topic. Go on there and give it both barrels and be really confident in what you're doing. And then you'll get asked back more. But above all, the reason you're doing the media interviews in the first place is so that you can put your name out there. If you don't come across as confident, it could do you more harm than good. So you know your onions, know your stuff, research beyond belief so that you can present absolutely 100% confidently. In the world of television and radio, leaps of faith can totally pay dividends.